Hello everyone, we will continue that topic, Smart Forms Translation into Other Languages. And in the previous video, we discussed SC63 is the transaction code by which we can do the translation. And all the text elements are appearing here. Now we will do the translation. In the real projects, customer team will provide you the text in their language. We need to simply, simply pass those texts with the help of SC63 transaction code. Now, suppose we will take few text and we will pass into the German language. See, first one is order details. If you see order details is through include text. So it will not appear here. If you see text one is not here. So we will not go for order details by this process for translation of include text or you can say text module. We will use different process. So I will go for this order number. Where is our order number? If we will see in SC63, order number. Order number is through which particular text? Text 2. You can check in smart form also. Anyway, it's your wish where, how you want to check. You want to check through smart forms. Same to same thing in SC63 also. If we will see our text 2, this text 2 is all about order number. If I will go to change editor, order number, and which paragraph format we used, AF. You can see order number, text two. Now we will do the translation here. Here we have the text two. Now we will add the corresponding text for the text two into German language. Just put the cursor and there is a plus button here. There is a plus button, insert line. Now you can see rather than slash E, we need to put the paragraph format. What is the paragraph format AF? If you have a default paragraph format, you can use star. Now for the order number, what is the translated text? This is the translated text. I will simply, simply pass. In the projects, customer team will give you, you can simply, simply pass. I will save and activate. I will go to edit. You can do collectively at the last also. Now we will go for next thing. Header details. If we will see header details, where are header details? Item cost. Header details is text four. Now I will go to text four. This is our text four. I'll put the cursor and click on to plus sign. Text four. What is the paragraph format? HF. So I will simply pass HF. This is the fonts. This is the formats which we created through Smart Style. Now header details is called this in the German language, header hyphen details. Same thing we will do for item details also. Now, what is the text number for item details? If I will go up. Item details is text 13. So I will go to text 13. This is our text 13. I will put the cursor plus sign. Item details is again HF. HF. And I will put the text into German language. This is the text. Now, for the best understanding, 
Suppose I will take some text which is default. Suppose I will take this. The text 18 is total. Text 18 is total. If I will go to text 18, this is text 18. I will go for plus sign. Now here I will put star because for total, we used default paragraph format. Suppose total is called as this. We put everything in capital. Anyways, I don't know German. So I put this. Now we will simply, simply go for save and active. So we translated, we passed that translated text into German language for four text. One is order number. One is header details, item details, and total. Now, what I will do, I will simply, simply log in into German language and show you the output. Suppose, firstly, we will, I will show you the output in English language because English language output should never, never impact. So, this is our English language. And whatever we translated, all those are text elements. I will go to print. So in English, it is working fine. Order number, header details, item details, total. It is same. The English language output is as it is. Now I will log in into German language. So I will go to smart form. Sorry, I forgot to change the language. And for German, TE, I will go to smart forms transaction code. I will put the name of the smart form. And I will go to OK. And you can see this is what we gave in German language. Header hyphen details, item hyphen details. And for total, we gave in capital, capital. Have you seen? These are appearing in bold, bold, because we use same to same paragraph format. Yes. And for this, we use default paragraph format. So this is the way how we can do that translation. We need to just put that translated text into SC63. And this is the way how we can do the translation. Now, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we went to SC63 transaction code. We went to the lower portion. We went to the lower portion in SC63. If I will log in into English language and show you again. We went to SC63 transaction code. We choose other text. We choose this SAP script forms and styles, SAP smart form. We put our smart form. Law source language was English and target language language is German. And we simply, simply translated for text. How we translated? You can simply go to that text number, go for plus sign. If you have, if you want to use the paragraph formats, whatever you created, you can use those paragraph format, pass the text. If you want to go for default, you can use star. Then after that, I logged in into the German language and we saw the expected output. In the next video, we will do the translation for the include text and text module because by this way we translated or we do the translation for the text elements in the next video we will learn about text module and include text 
So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.